is probably the favourite of all my cuts so far to do. Um, it's very fast, very flashy looking. Um, um, and it's quite easy to do. Um, I think even beginners might be able to uh, figure this one out. Um, and it's very fun cut to do as well. Um, you will need to know how to do the 100 Charlier cut. There's a lot of those in the Cactus cut and there's a lot of those in the Director's cut, which is the cut I'm going to be teaching you today. <laughs> First thing you want to do for this cut is break it to a simple three packet cut like so. You want to hold the deck in a left hand straddle grip to start with, your thumb on this long edge and the ring and the um, middle finger on the opposite uh, long edge uh, with your index finger on this short edge and your pinky on the opposite short edge. You then want to break it to a swing cut, like, it's a bit like if you were going to do like a swing cut I guess except for you hold it in strong grip, you want to break into that, like so and then you want to break into another one, like that, off that packet, so like that then you want to twist your hand, this hand round, using the uh, short edge of the bottom packet as a pivot point twist this hand round and grab this packet and twist it under and that becomes the bottom packet and the whole thing all together becomes a Z cut so fast, it'll look like that So once you've got that, you want to drop the bottom. You want to drop the bottom packet into your palm, like so, and then remove this packet completely, getting the middle packet into straddle grip, like so. So you should be in this position now. Then you want to go into a Charlier cut with this hand. So push that packet up. Uh, if you want a tutorial on the Charlier cut, just leave it as a uh, request on my channel. Um, go into a Charlier cut, and as you do so, you want to add this packet in using your palm to twist that packet up and around. I'll explain that more in detail now. So I'm going to try and give you a better view of that twisting bit. Um, so yeah, you get into the whole cut like this. And then if you watch my hands very closely, you'll see that packet go against my palm, twist up and over. So without the rest of the deck, what the packet is doing is this. Like that. Okay, so this bit of your palm here, through here, and over. Now I don't know how well you can even see that, but that's basically what the packet is doing. It's doing a full packet twist. Added in from the front, it'll look like this. So let's move on to the next step. So, the next part of this cut, once you have the first step fully practiced and perfected, when you twist that packet up, by the way, you want, oh, excuse my bad cut there, um, when you twist that packet up, you want to keep the thumb break right there on the deck, like that. And then you want to roll this packet off into this hand, so you've got two packets in the mechanics grip, like so. Then you want to go into kind of a Charlier cut in each hand, push that packet up, but instead of completing the cut like you would with the Charlier cut, like that, you want to basically, when you push these packets up, curl in your ring finger, grab the packet like so and pop out and it's the popping that makes this look really unique so when you're doing the cut and uh, when I first made this I did just used to go like this like that but since I have made um, it go like this and you can hear that sound when I, uh, when I do it you can hear that that sound and I don't know, it's just something that I've kind of developed over the making of this cut. But that's what I do. You can do whatever you like on this bit as long as you use this. Often I like to cross my hands over and pop like that. And I bring them in and to close it in you just do this. Like that. So let's move on to the next step. So 
by now, you should be at this stage. Okay, now the next bit, you want to roll this packet on to this packet, keeping that thumb break just like earlier. Then you want to go into a fan flip, like so. As I said earlier, I'm not going to teach the fan flip in this tutorial, but if you do want a tutorial of the fan flip, just request it as a channel comment and I will make a tutorial. Okay, so if you practice the whole thing over, um, it will take a bit of practice, like just like anything. Um, it'll look something like this. Now that wasn't the smoothest of performances in the world, but it'll do. I hope you have fun with this, and here's some more information about this cut. This cut, in fact, uh, keeps the top card of the deck the same, so we've got the Ace of Diamonds. Um, and as you can see, we've got the Two of Hearts on the bottom, so Two of Hearts on the bottom, Ace of Diamonds on top. And if we do the cut, like so, as you can see, it keeps the top card the same, but changes the bottom card. But there is in fact a different method that you can do for this cut, which keeps both the top card and the bottom card the same. I'll show you now. It's only a very slight, very minor change to this cut. So um, here is the different method. Um, we'll just go through this cut again, okay? And. Um, just notice now the top card of the deck is the King of Hearts and the bottom card of the deck is the Two of Diamonds. Now of course we already know with this cut the top card stays the same, so we don't really need to know that. It's the bottom card we're going to focus on keeping the same for this method. So what you do is you would go into the cut like normal. Like so. And it's actually the fan flip that changes the bottom card. As you can see it's still the same as before when I'm doing a fan flip. So if you still want to do the fan flip but yet keep the bottom card of the deck the same, you do the cut like normal, but instead of doing this kind of fan flip where you do that, simply drop this packet on top and then do only do a half fan flip where the deck only flips once, not the full 360 turn. And that will keep both the top card and the bottom card the same all the way through the cut. So that was the tutorial for the director's cut and I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure you practice because this does require a lot of practice as with anything. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.